Well, hello. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I thought we'd go around and uh, just introduce ourselves. So my name is Sarah Thrift. I'm the Minister for Children and Accessibility at All Saints Church. Uh, we'll start with Debbie. Would okay. Like um, my name is Debbie Holcomb. I've been brought up, I've been brought up by a, a, a well good healthy family who I love so much. Excellent. And this is some of your family. Who are you guys? I'm Chris Holcomb and I'm her mum. I'm <coughs> Tony Holcomb, her dad. Brilliant. And I'm sure lots of you at All Saints recognise uh, these people because they have um, all been at All Saints for quite a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, so Debbie, it'd be great to know, yeah. um, how did you become a Christian? How did I become a Christian? Well, um, I, I remember becoming a Christian when I was a, a baby and that I was brought up um, knowing about Jesus Christ who, who died for my sins and, um, uh, and the church that I go to um, All Saints Church in Crowborough. And um, uh, yeah, I was baptised ever since I was a baby. And then I was confirmed when I started to grow up with um, a friend of mine called Lucy, who I used to go to school with. Excellent, thank you. Uh, and Debbie, you have um, Down syndrome, don't you? And um, okay. it'd be great to know from you what challenges that has presented either uh, in your life as a big challenge or just day to day. Okay. Um, I do love being Down syndrome. And, and nothing gets me down being down. And... Um, any challenges that I've experienced. And um, I have experienced quite a lot um, ever since I grew up. And, uh, and uh, Tony and Chris, um, as uh, Debbie's parents, um, either when she's growing up or just in general, have there been any challenges for you because of her Down syndrome? I think probably the... Uh... <clears throat> right at the outset when she was born because that was the first uh, we really had any uh, any indication of, about Down syndrome. We hadn't give, considered it and so it came as a, a shock to both mm -hmm. us and the family um, and at that you have to catch up very quickly as to the indications but as a newborn you've got no mm -hmm. Um, idea of what's possible. You tend to think yeah. the worst, but the gynaecologist at the time was a lovely uh, Norwegian doctor, and um, he was very helpful. And then we had the support of the uh, church family out in Oslo, which um, was great. Yes, the biggest challenge was not actually knowing what to be able to achieve, yeah. but in fact she has achieved an enormous amount you could never have imagined at the beginning. And certainly we were in the right place because the support she had uh, from being a baby until she went to or got to school age was probably better in Norway than we could have experienced in the UK. Physio mm. mm. every day. Yeah, she had wow. uh, she, yeah. Yeah. So. Cool. And, uh, and uh, part of the... Um, series that we're doing now thinking about um our weakness but god's amazing strength and how he um gives us his strength through our weaknesses and so that he's glorified um and what would you say uh i'll go to debbie first how has god helped you with some of the challenges you face hmm. <laughs> um well god has in jesus um he's been well, Jesus has been great. He's been, um, I know Jesus knows everybody's uh, birthdays and all that. And um, 
and the challenges he's given me. And um, he's, yeah, he's helped me quite a lot. And he's, um, he, he's been really fantastic. He's really good at what he does. And plus he's got healing. He, he can heal people really quickly, which is quite clever as well. And um, uh, yeah, so um, Jesus Christ, God, who's my, um, who's also my father as well. And I've got a very special dad, Tony. Indeed. <laughs> um, and uh, Tony and uh, Chris, how has, uh, how has God helped you with some of the challenges? Well, at every step along the way, it seemed to work out what, where she was going to go next. And the funding uh, was always, well, not, yes, it was all available eventually. L last minute. <laughs> <laughs> all over the college. And then for coming home and the accommodation she's in now, God smoothed the way all the, all the way along that. You yes. just have to trust yes. uh, that he will, <clears throat> he will, you know, he gives the support. Uh, we tried to do it on our own and uh, it went down to the wire on a, a number of occasions. But at uh, the moment we, uh, we remembered that God was there, um, things fell into place. Um, and you can see, mm -hmm. right, as Chris says, down through her life, uh, at major uh, times, um, God's um, smoothed the, uh, the path for her. And where she is now, it's uh, is lovely. We're very happy. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's a really good lesson, isn't it? Actually, that um, when we rely on God, He He doesn't let us down, and uh, no. we're all so tempted to rely on ourselves all the time, aren't we? But that's a fantastic prayer support, family and friends. Yeah, which is yeah. very important. <laughs> Particularly at the um, when she was uh, the few uh, weeks and months after she was born. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what to expect, nor did the family. <laughs> so it's been a good experience for them. We have needed um, quite a lot of patience along the way. That could be because of having three other children as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we all know some of those children. So, <laughs> yeah. so if there was uh, one thing you would like people, uh, particularly the church, to know about... Um, either about Down syndrome or about how God uses challenges, um, what would it be, Debbie? One thing that um, people um, to know about having Down syndrome is um, um, people with Down syndrome, they, um, 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 they you do all sorts of things as well. <laughs> yeah, any other people that have got Down syndrome like me, I would say if someone has been bullied um, all their life, been Down syndrome either at school or anywhere, I would say um, I would say to the people on behalf of myself, if anyone that starts picking on you, do not listen to them. They're the ones that's in the wrong. You're not. Jesus. No. Jesus is there to support you and also your family and friends that are close to you. Great, thank you very much. And uh, Tony and Chris is there. What one thing would you like people to know? I think we found out that Debbie's been a lot more capable of things than we thought she'd be, because we didn't know anything. And um, her, her love of drama has also been... Mm -hmm. been Definitely. And uh, she's enjoyed that. Yes, they come for us a lot. I mean, they can teach us a lot. Hmm. I think despite what um, parts of the world uh, think, um, they've got a very active uh, part in society um, and uh, should, you know, should be supported. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And, uh, and that is our interview. Well done.